Hey there everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be comparing Grok 3 thinking and Anthropic's Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking. So these are one of the best reasoning models and this is a head to head between these two. So I'll be doing a lot of tests. There will be some new questions as well. So let's get into the video starting off with the reasoning section. So this is our first question. This is a question based on the coordinate plane. As you can see the question reads, I have plotted some points on a coordinate plane. So the models have to connect them in a specific order to form letters. You can see this is the notations. They have to connect these dots and understand the underlying word. So the underlying word is artificial. Let's see which model is able to get that right. We have the thinking mode on on the Grok 3 interface 3.7 sonnet thinking over here. So let's get started. Let's send this to both models and let's see. So Grok 3 thinking model has done thinking and it is starting to give us the response. Meanwhile 3.7 sonnet thinking okay. Even this model has done thinking. So let's see both are generating their responses and okay. Claude 3.7 sonnet is done. It says the answer is artificial and so does Grok 3 thinking. So both these models get it right let's move on to the next question so this next question is based on grids the diagrammatic representation of the question is visible to you so you have to understand how these two grids combine to form the third one what is the logic in between and with the help of these two examples the models have to find out the output of the last one so they have to find out what is the last grid let's see which model is able to do it let's send this to both models let's wait for the response Claude 3.7 sonnet thinking is done and it is generating the response meanwhile grok3 thinking is still taking its time and we have got the correct answer let's see what grok3 thinking will do we have a response from grok3 thinking it thought for 272 seconds nearly 5 minutes let's see the response and it gets the correct answer but it took significantly longer than 3.7 sonnet thinking anyways that's a pass from both models and you know these are the best of the best so these questions are kind of easy let's move on to the hard questions so this is the first hard question this is the seating arrangement question and my regular viewers you might be knowing about this. So in this question 8 friends are sitting around a square table according to some conditions which are mentioned here. After that what happens is their placement is completely changed and the new placement is starting off with the person P. They are made to sit in clockwise direction according to the alphabetical order. So at the end what we ask is comparing these two seating arrangements who are those whose position has not changed. So the model has to give the correct number and who are they so the correct answer is there is only one person and that is q so now let's see which model gets it right let's send this to both models so i've seen that these models get the number of persons right that is one but it's very hard for them to find out the exact person they always say s because they don't understand what's left and right that's the reason of this confusion let's see if that changes today so grok3 thinking has done his thinking process and it has thought for 75 seconds. Let's see the response. Meanwhile, Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking is taking its time. So as you can see, it says only S at position 4 remains unchanged. So as I told you, it gets the correct number of people that is one person, but it says the person is S. That's not completely correct answer. The answer is Q. Meanwhile, let's wait for Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking. Meanwhile, if you are liking these questions, do consider hitting the like button that helps the algorithm and will be a great support to my channel. Okay, Claude 3.7 Sonnet thinking is done and let's see. So we get the same response as remains at position 4, therefore one person. So they have given an identical response and that's a fail. Let's move on to the next question. Now moving on to the final reasoning question. So in this question, 64 players are playing a knockout tennis tournament. So there are 6 levels in this tournament. Who will play with whom? In which level? All those conditions are mentioned here. What we ask is, if player 23 and 46 play with each other, then is there a chance that these two can play with each other? Can 9 play with 13, 6 with 18, so on and so forth? Or none of these? Nobody will be able to play with each other. So the correct option is only 9 and 13 will be able to play with each other. Let's see. Let's send this question. And let's see which model gets it right. Okay, we have got the response from Grok3 thinking. It has thought for 281 seconds, nearly 5 minutes. Let's have a look. And it gets the correct answer. That is answer A, 9 and 13. Absolutely awesome. Meanwhile, 3.7 sonnet thinking is still taking time. Grok3 thinking has been the first model which has been consistently able to get this answer right. Even in my previous video, Grok3 thinking was able to get it right. Okay, so we are getting the solution from 3.7 sonnet. Let's see what it comes up with. And it says the answer is 5 and 51. That is wrong. So now let me quickly explain you why 9 and 13 is right. As you can see, if you correctly map out the conditions, 
this is the tournament arrangement that you will be getting so the question clearly states that 23 and 46 are playing with each other so as you can see 46 is over here and 23 is over here so if 23 and 46 were able to play with each other this means that they met at the semi-finals any other player that is here has been defeated by 46 and any other player here has been defeated by 23 so if there is any player in the top half if they have to play with someone here they, they can only play with the winner of the semi-finals in the final match. That is the reason they can only play with 23 or 46 and nobody over here. So if anyone has to play with each other, either they have to play with 23 or 46 or they have to be in the top half. That is the both players have to be in top half. So if you check 6 and 18, 5 and 51, 17 and 15, in all these three options, either one is in the bottom half or both are in bottom half. Whereas 9 and 13, let me show you. So this is 13 as you can see. This is 13 and this is 9 over here. Both are at the top half so they can play with each other. That is the reason option A is correct and Grok 3 gets it right. That ends the reasoning section. Now let's move on to the max section. So this is our first question. The correct answer is 721. Let's see which model gets it right. So we have a response from Grok 3 thinking. It thought for 183 seconds that is slightly more than 3 minutes and let's see the response and we get the correct answer 721 meanwhile 3.7 sonnet is still thinking and 3.7 sonnet is done thinking i mean like 3.7 sonnet thinking is done thinking have to use that thinking word two times and we have got the correct answer 721 that's a pass from both models let's move on to the next question so this next question is based on geometry and from aime maths exam let's see which model gets it right the correct answer is 104 let's see so growth rethinking has done thinking it has thought for 205 seconds slightly more than a minute and let's see the response so it says the answer is 104 that is absolutely awesome and 3.7 sonnet thinking is still thinking okay 3.7 sonnet thinking is done thinking let's see what do we have here and it says the answer is 6 3.7 sonnet thinking gets it wrong and that's a win for growth rethinking let's move on to the next question as you can see, so I have prepared the Frontier Math test bench. If you don't know, Frontier Math is the hardest benchmark for Max and is the hardest benchmark till date which tests as the name says Frontier Math. So this is the question. Let's copy the whole question. So why this question is so long? The reason is we are testing these questions in a new method. Instead of just getting a response in one shot, these models can give me intermediate code snippets which I can run and send them the output. Let's send this question and then I explain you. So as I said, these models don't have to do the complete calculation. They can use code for it. So they can give me code snippets in which some functions will be there. If I run it, they will get an output. They can then reflect on this output and give us the correct answer. So the best model up until now has been O3 Mini High. In my previous test, Grok3 Thinking was not able to do it just because it just quickly rushed the answer instead of giving an intermediate step. It directly gave us the final answer, which was as expected wrong. So we have got the response with Grok3 thinking. It has thought for 346 seconds, nearly 6 minutes. And 3.7 sonnet thinking is also giving us the response. So it is clearly giving us a code. Meanwhile, let's see what Grok3 thinking does. So as it did in its previous test, in our previous video, it gave us the two codes. One is the intermediary step and it says if this is right, then this is the final answer that we'll be getting. So let's copy the code. Let's run it in a IDE. So let's paste the code and let's run it. Okay, we have got the response. Let's compare this to, to the actual answer. Okay, as you can see, the correct answer is 38147. But it says the answer is 38146. So approximately, you can say the correct answer is this. But we are looking for exact values. That's the reason you are using code and everything. So that is a fail from Grok3. Okay, so Grok3 was not able to do it. Let's do one thing. Let's run this intermediary code and let's paste the output. Maybe that will change the response. So let's paste the code and uh, let's run it. Okay, so this is what we have got. We'll copy this, paste it and we'll mention. Let's send this. And meanwhile, let's look at 3.7 sonnet. So it has given us a bunch of code. Okay, we do see a issue with 3.7 sonnet. So it's thinking that it has access to code interpreter, but that's not the case. See, it says, let me run this code to see if there is a pattern in the results. So instead of giving us the code, it is trying to solve itself, which is not the case. Actually, I've clearly mentioned that you have to not run the code. You have to give the code to me. Anyways, it says this is the final answer. Let's see. Let's run it. Okay. So it's nowhere near. At least previous models that we tested, O3 Mini High, Deep Sea Carbon and everything, they were able to come close, but this is nowhere near, guys. Meanwhile, Grok3 Thinking has given us the response 5 power 18 plus 1. 
So this will give us the same response that we got from code. So this is a fail from both models, but comparatively, I would say that 3.7 Sonnet is not that good because this, this answer is way off. In my previous video, if you have checked that none of the models were this far from the actual answer. So that is a fail. Okay. So this was part one of the test because I have reached my grog three limit. As you can see, we have completed the reasoning and max sections and we could clearly see that grog three thinking is clearly a smarter model. When it comes to reasoning, it was absolutely awesome and same stood for max. Next, we'll be checking out the coding section in the next video. If you liked the questions up until now, do consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next one.